for me, it's about my skill and about my palate and sort of how I see the world through my food. It's a competitive business and it's like either you're good or you're not. That phrase, like if it's too hot, get out the kitchen, that applies, <laughs> you know? I'm Khalees, I am a singer-songwriter. I'm also a chef. I am classically trained at Le Cordon Bleu. I'm gonna make a really good pork chop. <laughs> it's a Spanish onion and fig dressing kind of glaze thing, and it goes really amazing with this gorgeous pork chop. That right there is a party. It's got a little sea salt. I love a skillet. To me, a cast iron skillet is never a bad choice. It's one of those things that has like a memory, so like you never soak them. It just keeps all of the like great flavor. Like my mom's got a few pots that she's had since I was a kid, and I try to get them off of her all the time. <laughs> she's not coming up off them. I'm gonna put just a little bit of paprika here. We've got some toasted sesame oil. You always wanna hear a sizzle. It's good things are happening. Now, for the fun part, unsalted butter preferably. You wanna be able to control the salt. This is not a diet recipe, I will warn you now. It's like you eat well, treat yourself well, everything will be fine. We use lots of butter, it comes out really good. <laughs> We've got our Spanish onions here. We have our really beautiful figs there. Add our onions. So we don't want this butter to get too brown. We're not making ghee. I think in anything, I think you have to do it, you know, with your flair. And being a chef is extremely competitive. Like I cook like a woman. We can be as fast and as beastly as anybody else. I like to use it to my advantage. There's a flair that I have. I have, you know, smaller hands. I can do daintier things. For me, it's about my skill and about my palate and sort of how I see the world through my food and not as much about the fact that I'm a female. I like to season in layers. And so, especially with onions, you want to salt them because that'll pull out all the moisture. It's called sweating. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. One of the reasons I love fig is I think it just has a great texture, especially like in sauce and stuff. It's got that nice, like grainy, it's like pear or something. It's a really nice effect to it. We want to use the juice of the fig, obviously, but we also want to be able to see some of it. So some of them are gonna fall apart. Some of the beauty of like food is being able to look at it. It's like an art piece. You've got all these different components that make up what it is that we're cooking, you know? Delicious. And all that good seed stuff that's gonna give us such good texture in our sauce. You definitely, you get to a point where like you know how to get the best results. I love a skillet. You know, I'm very particular about my knives. <laughs> to me, like a Teflon pan is like the work of the devil. I think one of the things that people forget when they're cooking, they actually take themselves out of it, and I think that's the problem. It's like, first of all, use your nose. Like, first and foremost, people cook and forget that like, you're cooking for your palate. You know what I mean? So like, if you don't want something too spicy, don't make it too spicy. I was like, well, how much do I put? I don't know, what do you like? And I think that's what's really nice about it is that like, when you're eating my food, you're eating the way I think, you know, and you get to know a little bit about me based on what I made that day, hopefully. Got a little bit of brown sugar, which I love. The salt and the sugar are gonna help bring out the flavor. I mean, but you see how the juice is just starting to come out of that, that's just gorgeous. We're gonna use a little vanilla extract. We're gonna put some vanilla bean in there too, which is just fabulous. I mean, I'm always coming up with fun sauces and stuff, and then like, yeah, like I'll go to the grocery store, I'll go to the market, and you see what they have. It's like an outfit. You know, I buy a new pair of shoes, everything goes around the shoes. With this, it's nice to have the caramelized whole pieces on it. <laughs> a lot of cooking shows, I feel like, it's very like docile in the kitchen. But Iron Chef is just dope. It's amazing. 
and then just like the way the camera works it and it's all like in it and you feel the intensity. I'm like in a restaurant setting, I've been screamed at and like had stuff thrown, like, you know, move it, like let's go. You know, I love that, it's awesome.